Oh, what's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Rhonda Samia, aka Staff Sergeant Tabai. And it has been fucking forever since I made a video. And I got this comment last night that really triggered me. And I wanted to make a video about it and then to also update you guys on my life. Because like I said, it has been a minute. And I'm actually in my car eating lunch. So let's get this video started. Excuse me, y'all. I know I look crazy. My hair is a mess right now. Like, I'm missing the earring. I don't know what happens to my other earring. <laughs> and i had just got my second whole period so i don't want to take this one out because it's kind of iffy so i just been walking around with one earring on probably out of regulation too but it's okay um but no like seriously i look a high ass mess but i just really need to kind of make this video or a fast because this person really triggered the f out of me like what the f uh, let me show you guys my lunch real fast i'm like addicted to these things this is a house salad and i got turkey meat on there and i have my that was an island dressing when i tell you this crap is so bomb like i literally eat it for lunch almost every day <laughs> all right so what triggered me to make this video besides the fact that i haven't made a video in fucking almost a year <laughs> probably over a year to be honest is somebody commented on my video where i showed people how to hide um their nose rings and their smileys and they said that i was a piece of shit soldier nco yada 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 and right now i work in the higher highest division and i still have my clear retainer in and I still have my clear retainer in for my smiley. And actually this nose piercing healed. So um, I don't even put anything on here, but for this one, I just got it done. And probably like two, three months ago, and I put a clear retainer in there. And like I said, the thing about that comment triggered me because you don't know me personally. You don't know my work ethic. You don't know nothing about me except for I posted a video of showing soldiers how to hide their body jewelry. It is 2023. People have body piercings and regulation 670-1, it says you're not authorized to have body piercings in the army or out the army. Let's be serious. Like I said to that person, regulations are changing every day. Stuff is so outdated in these regulations. Like who, why can we not have body jewelry outside of the army? You know how many things I got pierced? A million, a million, a million, a million. So no, I do not have no shame in my game for showing people who do have body jewelry because they do that they can hide them and they will not get in trouble for it like am we're gonna get kicked out for having body jewelry no are you gonna get an article 15 for having body jewelry maybe but that's extreme as hell like who's gonna be like oh my god they have a clear retainer and all they're gonna tell you is to take it out and that's it that's all i've been in the army for almost 10 years and my leadership ability my work ethic the stuff that i do in the army has nothing to do with my body modifications that doesn't define me as a leader so for somebody to come on my video and tell me oh my god you're a piece of shit because you're breaking one regulation yeah get out of here and i really do try not to let what people comment on my videos make me mad but stuff like that pisses me off because again you don't know me you don't know me from a can of paint like you don't know nothing about me so for you to sit here and say i'm a piece of shit and duh, 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 duh. what <laughs> but anyway besides that i did want to make this video and let y'all know what my life has been like for the past year because like i said i haven't posted in almost a year and i have done so much within this year time frame my unit did a whole lot of good things for um the people of ukraine which was pretty good uh, me personally i'm s1 so <laughs> i was in the office like i didn't really get to do any training or anything one thing i did like about this deployment is that they actually let us explore germany so i got to go to berlin frankfurt um nuremberg i actually went to paris and it was actually a good experience mm. I don't even like talking and eating so i don't know why i decided to make a video while i'm eating because i really hate when people will be smacking eating food but um after germany we got sent to ntc so we came back from germany 
like I said, um, October time frame, and then January, February, January, February, February. Look at me getting my shit off. <laughs> Just come by me later, but uh, in February we went to NTC, and again that was another fast notice. Like, hey. Get y'all stuff together. We're going to NTC. Yeah, I know we just came back from deployment three months ago, but y'all the most ready battalion, yada yada yada. So y'all gotta go. So I went to NTC and came back in the beginning of March. Um when I The whole time I was in Germany, I was the NCOIC. And if you don't know what that means, it's the NCO in charge. So I was the NCOIC for my battalion S1 shop. And when I got back from deployment, I went on leave. And while I was on leave, my OIC, which is the officer in charge, had texted me like, hey, they voluntold, <laughs> pretty much they voluntold you to go uh, interview for this job. So... I actually didn't have the qualifications for the job because you're not supposed to have a permanent profile and I have a permanent run profile, which means I don't run. Um, so I'm like, oh, okay, I don't, I'm probably not going to get the damn job because I don't meet the qualifications. And all the rest of the qualifications I pretty much met, but besides the no profile, but it literally said in bold letters, like, you cannot have a, a profile and get this job. So I'm like, yeah, I'm probably not going to get it. I went to the interview, the initial interview with a sergeant major, and I did pretty good. So they're like, okay, your real interview is in a couple weeks. So uh, a couple weeks later, I go in for an interview, and this time I had an interview with a colonel and a chief. And I guess I did good because I got the job. So I, like I said, I came back from NCC, like we got back like March third I want to say and my report date for the new job was 10 March so I've been working at this new job for about two weeks now and I really 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 enjoy it it's definitely something different and I don't have any soldiers I don't do PT I don't go to the field I don't deploy um I do PT on my own like it's just a really good job like I literally come in at zero nine and I leave no later than 1600 which is four o'clock um What else? Um, when I first made this channel, it was like kind of a couple's channel. Um, I had my video when I got married and um, such a beautiful video, by the way. <laughs> but me and my wife are no longer together. I actually have been in, uh, we haven't been together in a minute, probably since I came back from Korea, which was, uh, 2019, the end of 2019. So we haven't been together since then. And I've actually been in, uh, another relationship since then. So eventually I'll tell y'all that story about what happened in Korea. But, you know, shit happens, it is what it is. But... I mean, that's pretty much it. Like, I haven't done anything crazy. Just as a deployment, which took up, like, most of my time. Um, the NTC rotation. And then with this new job, like, I'll have more time to, like, <clears throat> post things, document things. Um, so, hopefully, I'll get back on track and make videos. I can't make y'all no promises. But I am definitely going to try. Um, if you guys have any, any questions about the military, um, definitely hit me up on Instagram. Um... But yeah, I just wanted to make this quick video, make that rant about people saying that I'm a bad NCL because I have a piercings. And I just wanted to update y'all on my life. Like, I love YouTube because it feels like this is a place where I can vent and not vent. And this is a place where I can help new soldiers, which is what I like to do. And like I said, I don't have any soldiers right now. So of course I want to help all the new soldiers that are coming in or are in or whatever um this generation of soldiers are all about social media so i think youtube is definitely a great place 
to get and reach out to these young soldiers. Um, so like I said, if you guys have any questions, you guys want to know more about whatever, don't be afraid to hit me up. My Instagram is Ronis Uh Y'all can write me questions here. And yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video.